Hi guys, and today we are going to be looking or reviewing um, this oldish loco. Uh, this is a Backman one. It's about 10 years old. Um, this is the Lancashire and Yorkshire Class 5. It is a um, 242 in the Midland livery maroon. Uh, like I said, this is done by Backman. It's about 10 years old. Um, this is just my um, take on it. I hope you like it, so let's get into the video, shall we? As we start at the front of the locomotive, as you can see, we have a um, small NEM uh, coupling. We also have some sprung buffers. We have uh, three lamp irons on the front and one on its... Um, Handrail above the number number plate as well. Uh, we also have quite a lot of rivets on the front too. We have a separately applied vacuum um, pipe as well. We also have a, a hole for the hook, which I believe is in the detail pack. We have the Midland number on the front, which is 10715. Uh, we have a separately applied smoke box dart as well. It's a pretty nice front that is, and we also have a chimney uh, Midland one as well. As we move on to the side of the locomotive, from what I can see, uh, the only difference in the size of the locomotive is this side has a reverser rod just behind the tank, uh, just there. Failing that, they are exactly the same from what I can see. We have steps either side of the tanks as well, uh, front and to the cab. Uh, the wheels are lovely and lined, uh, very nice there. Uh, by Backman, as you can see, the wheel configuration is at 242. We also have some sanding pipes down there, as well as some brake shoes, um, standard thing this day and age. Uh, we also have some springs below the boiler uh, to the chassis as well, which is correct. Um, we also have a builder's plate uh, just at the front of the boiler as well, which is Warwick, I think it is, the um, Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway. Um, Builder's place, uh, which is correct. We also have a fine handrail too. We have a dome, safety valve, and a whistle on top of the cab. We also have another builder's plate, which I'm not too sure which one that is. We also have the uh, Midland Crest on the bunker too. And we have some more rivets to go with it. As we move into or onto the cab, the cab is all painted, it's very nice there by Backman. It has the wood flowing effect as well. A uh, great touch. Um, the windows, front and back, are glazed, uh, which I think is standard uh, this day and age. Um, the cab is very nice, very detailed. As we move on to the bunker or the back of the locomotive, as you can see, it has the line in again around the edge in yellow, uh, like the, most of the locomotive, also on the roof as well, uh, above the windows. The windows are in a gold frame, a nice touch. The cot rail you see there is free. Um, I don't know if you can see the coal at all, but it is there and it isn't quite nice. I don't think it's removable. We have three lamp irons down the bottom here and one just above. We also have some rivets as well, quite a few rivets, do like them. We also have spoon buffers on the back, like we do on the front. We also have a small tension lock coupling, and we have a hole for some details as well. And we have a vacuum pipe too. As we look at the logo from the top bird's eye view, as you see on the cab, it has some more rivets too. And we also have some lining, and just about to see it, um, just at the end of the cab to the boiler. You can also see the um, whistles and the safety valves again, and the dome, which does look separately applied as well. You can see the lining on uh, the boiler too, just one line, well two lines. You can see the water filler caps and some small details that Backman have put there. And the washout plugs as well, just before the tanks. And finally, as we move on to the underneath of the locomotive, as you can see, it is a 242. Uh, the brake rigging is already applied, which is great. Um, the main drive wheels are the only ones that pick up, sadly, I believe, from what I've read. Uh, you can see the screws where to undo the body. There's quite a few there. I think you've got to break rig enough to do all that. Um, very nice. So next up will be the usual second radius and points test. Um, let's see how this Backman locomotive gets on, shall we? Thank you. 
not too bad. What's that? 30, 30, 29, so uh, not too bad for DC. A little fast, but then most of them do fast out of the points for some reason. So yeah, the points test was okay, a little fast, but like I said, most of my logos go fast on that section of track for some reason. I don't know why. The second race just was a massive letdown for me. I don't understand why. It only does part of it and it doesn't do the rest. It's meant to do a second radius. So I've checked the box, I've checked the website. It don't, um, which is a letdown if you run, run second radius and you've got one of these, ah, it's a problem. So next up will be a little bit of slow speed and I'll find it a train and I'll see you at the end. Pretty smooth. Um, yeah, 27. Pretty, pretty smooth. That's quite nice. Not bad for DC, so it can do third red just at least. So yeah guys, that's the end of the review and running session. I'll give you uh, my opinion before I do. You can sort of guess what stock it had. It was, I think they are um, Mark 1s. Could be wrong. Harry Potter 1, there's a named Express 1. And over here we have um, another named Express 1 as well. I believe they're all Mark 1s. I didn't really have any suitable rolling stock and I still don't. I was tempted to run some four and six wheeled with them but I wasn't sure if it'd been LMS and all that. I know it's a pre-grouping locomotive but yeah. Uh, my opinion on this locomotive, uh, quite simply um, I don't know what to say about the second radius. It should do second radius. Some of my backman ones don't like to. I don't know why, it could be my tracks warped a little and I'm not noticed it, but I've had big Pacifics go around from Hornby and other manufacturers and I had a 
J27 go round, and that will perfectly go round. Um, literally an hour before I record this, I don't know, got no idea. Um, but would I recommend it? Yeah, they do several liveries, so something there for everybody from pre grouping to preserved to LMS to BR. Um, it depends on the price and it depends what you're into. But if you've got like a her heritage railway or something on your layout, possibly, yeah. But they are nice, don't, don't give me that. They are nice, they're, they're quite nice looking. So, guys, if you've got any questions, please let me know and I'll answer them in the comments section. Until next time, guys, please take care.